Supports can be added in diamonds to points, lines and plates. Let us start with point supports. You select one or more points and you go to the supports button. Points and line supports are very alike. We will discuss the main features together. Diamonds have the 3D calculation heart, each node having 6 degrees of freedom, 3 displacements and 3 rotations. When assigning supports for points and lines, you may limit one or more of the 6 degrees of freedom. By default, the supports are in correspondence with the global axis system XYZ, which is always visible at the bottom right corner of the window and also in the supports dialog. At the bottom of this window, you can also define relative supports, if necessary. This area over here is actually a drawing of the current support definition and also a preview of how the supports will be represented in the geometry window. The drawing is view sensitive, meaning that if you rotate the geometry model, this drawing will be rotated along. An XYZ displacement or rotation can be either free, the point or line can move and rotate, the support is not represented because obviously there is none. It can also be fixed and you can easily switch from free to fixed with a checkbox. It means that there is no movement possible. The displacement or rotation is retained and is set to zero. The support is represented by a red bar blocking the corresponding displacement or a triangle blocking the rotation direction. It can also be a spring value. Make sure that you are using the correct units as mentioned in the window. The support is represented by a spring in the corresponding displacement direction or a spring triangle in the rotation direction. Finally, you can also enter a support function. The representation of a support function is equal to the one of a spring value. Note that you can also indicate for each translatory spring that it cannot absorb any negative tensile or positive compression reaction in the vertical direction so that means the overall y-axis this means for example that an upwards or downwards displacement of the structure is not hindered at that point or that line using the quick buttons on top you can easily add most used supports such as a roller pins or a fixed support. The fixed support is represented by a block, the pin support is represented by a pyramid. The quick buttons basically do the same thing as checking the correct boxes below, but faster. The top button, a dotted square, corresponds with the point or line being completely free. Let us choose a roller for this point and click OK. Assigning supports to lines is just like assigning point supports. You select one or more lines. Go to the supports window. You also have six degrees of freedom, quick buttons and relative supports, just like the point supports. Let us choose the pin supports for these lines and hit OK. For plates, you have three displacement supports possible, X, Y, Z, with similar possibilities as points and lines. So it can be free, fixed, a value or a function. Except for the Y displacement, you have an extra option in diamonds, a story layer profile. 
This is a very special feature allowing you to calculate foundation slabs based on Terzaghi settlement laws and taking into account the sole parameters of a cone penetration test. Let us choose over here a value for the plate, a spring value. When you select the line and you want to add supports at the line extremities, you first need to go to the correct tab page, the points tab page. And there you can choose, for example, for pin support. You can change the display size of the supports on screen on the right side of the window in the symbols area. When you play around with the number, the supports will appear bigger or smaller on screen.